the company wants us to basically use the vehicle to explore more, to have more adventures. You know, just go out of town, distress, relax, and take a break from our usual day-to-day -day activities. So the entire drive is about the vehicle enabling you to do more than one thing than just drive. Hey guys, we're here in AC Central, here in BGC, specifically Volkswagen Philippines showroom. And we're here to test drive none other than the Volkswagen T-Cross. Not this one, the T-Cross, which are all there. What we're gonna do is do more than driving. Volkswagen Philippines prepared a lot of activities for us today, so we're excited to check that out. And unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to bring this. But join us in this video. Hey guys, Kevin here. You're with the Modern Creatures, and welcome to another video. This is our unique experience with the Volkswagen T-Cross. Um, call time was 6, but took a little time to get here. Just tested negative, so we're heading to East Central inside for our briefing and also breakfast. Very hungry. I am a little bit hungry. A little bit. I could do some coffee. Coffee, coffee in the morning. Of course. Yeah. So after Vika and I had coffee and breakfast with friends from Volkswagen and AC Motors, as well as other media, the product briefing for the T-Cross began. We will all be driving the SE variant which is the top of the line model. And as such, it comes with its own panoramic sunroof, reverse camera and even interior trims that match its exterior color. Let Vika show you more of what I mean. So we're about to leave and board our cars but I just wanted to show you guys this really really cute so it's purple, right? But when you go inside the car, it's actually... The dash is the same color as the outside. And that's true for other T-Cross cars as well. And it's really cute. Like this one is red. So you get a red dash right here. I love it. It's a nice way to show off your personality with your cars, right? And shortly after, we were off to meet the fleet of the day's stars. This is our car, car number six. And Kevin is the exact color match. <laughs> you guys like it. Pretty cool. We already had our personal time with the Volkswagen T-Cross and you can watch a review by clicking that link. But the purpose of this trip was for us to enjoy a break from our daily activities and go for a drive out of town. And this way, we get to enjoy the T-Cross and fully experience what it offers in such drives. The first thing we did was to pair our phone with the vehicle so that our road trip music was ready to go. It only supports wireless Apple CarPlay but we're currently using an Android phone so we connected it via Bluetooth. And after that, we were ready to begin our 150km day tour. So we have a lead car that sets the pace but also we have a sweet car who will stay at the last spot just yeah. to be sure that we're all intact we're all together as we drive along that's basically how a convoy an organized convoy works yeah at the end of this road and then i'm gonna move to the left lane so we have this to communicate between each other for the lead car to tell us what to do if we need to pick up the pace, if we need to go faster, if we need to, if there are accidents or like potholes ahead, they will give us a heads up. So it's gonna be a really convenient and safe ride for this trip. For a quick rundown of the Volkswagen T-Cross specs, it comes with a 1.5-liter gasoline engine paired with a 6-speed Diptronic automatic transmission. It then operates under Volkswagen's Blue Motion technology, passing Euro 6 standards. This is the company's effort to optimize fuel economy and minimize emissions without sacrificing power, and it made our drive on long highways a breeze and even got to use its cruise control for a more relaxed drive. And when road elevation began going up Tagaytay, the engine's maximum power and torque gave us enough pull to overtake, at times even uphill. The vehicle's sport mode also contributed to a more sensitive input every time it's needed. 
Additionally, we were ensured of a safer drive with the vehicle's electronic stabilization program for those twisty roads that we encountered. Features that helped us include hill hold control, anti-slip regulation, and rear parking distance control in addition to its reverse camera. So we're actually here at the first location already. Before we get to the first activity, we're taking a couple of photos of the cars and you can see Kevin right there being Kevin, you know, standing on a rock to get a good photo. So apparently, we're gonna do some pottery today. I've never done that. I'm pretty excited to do some pottery. If you guys didn't know, Kevin is actually really into plants. So right now, taking photos of the plants in the restaurant because he loves plants, you guys. Girl, Hello! I am uh, Rita. I will be your teacher. I'm from Tahanan Pottery. Um, I'm the program director. So this is earthenware, stoneware. This is the clay we're gonna use. Okay? Ito once fired, ito twice fired. This is porous, this is non-porous. I think Kevin's doing a better job than me. <laughs> After the pottery class, we were once again off to a different destination. While it was just a short drive, we were able to take advantage of one more feature of the T-Cross. Since it comes with multiple charging ports and even a USB-C slot, we were able to charge some of our devices. So by the time we got to our next destination, our gear has been charged and are ready for more work. Just a little something that adds to the overall experience. Here at our second destination, this is Hillborn Cafe and Restaurant over there. You can see Hi Cab. I think we're going to have lunch here and then I don't know if there's anything else but I'm really curious about this restaurant because it's super cute. It's like a little windmill here and over there there are actually flowers so it's a very Holland-ish, Holland-like uh, Dutch there. See little clogs sitting. So let's go in and let's go check out what's inside Hillborn Cafe. Okay, thank you. Hungry for lunch. Oh, we just had two breakfasts, but somehow I'm still hungry. So. <laughs> I like hobbits. Two breakfasts. with Volkswagen Philippines the entire day since early this morning and basically we started from BGC and drove all the way to Tagaytay on the T-Cross on the Volkswagen T-Cross which we're driving right now obviously and we have five more T-Cross vehicles ahead of us we're the last of the convoy but moving on the entire day was filled with activities and it's not all just driving basically what Volkswagen Philippines wanted to show us is that though the vehicle has the power has the features to make your um, trip enjoyable. The, the company wants us to basically use the vehicle to explore more, to have more adventures, to get more, you know, just go out of town, distress, relax, and take a break from our usual day-to-day -day activities. So the entire drive is about the vehicle enabling you to do more than one thing than just drive, whatever it is. You should use the shortest one. Thanks, George. Um, basically, whatever it is you do, whatever your hobbies are, your activities, your interests, the Volkswagen T-Cross can be your buddy, can be your driving buddy to get you there. And that's what we did today. And when we got to Tagaytay, we went and took this pottery class. It's really fun. It's a really good break from the day-to-day, -day, you know, typing, shooting, 
and editing, basically sitting all day. After our pottery class, we went straight for lunch, which is at this really nice events place, really nice restaurant. The Volkswagen being a German brand. Sorry. No, not, no, okay. The assistance, the virtual assistance of Volkswagen just came up because there's voice activation, so it, it kind of activated it. But anyway, we went to this um, really nice restaurant and since Volkswagen is a German brand, the place is also like has that European vibe, more like a Netherland-ish vibe. So it kind of goes hand in hand with Volkswagen's design. What I'm trying to say here is that the way we use this vehicle, the T-Cross, the Volkswagen T-Cross, is how you would use a vehicle like this and enjoy it. If you're at home, you want to do something. Moving one lane to the left. Okay. Uh, moving, mo doing something out of the ordinary or just breaking your cycle, your everyday cycle. And you want to go out for a drive, you want to go to Tagaytay, you want to go out of town, the T-Cross can easily make that trip enjoyable. You have the right power for out of town drives. You have the convenience of all its features. You have Apple CarPlay here and Bluetooth connectivity, of course. And we've talked about the T-Cross in one of our previous videos. And you know, if you've seen that video, the tech experience in this vehicle is very organic. There are things like waving your hand just to scroll through the menu of the head unit. So that's really cool because it eliminates the need to look at the display and navigate and you know swipe and press buttons and all that. So this one eliminates that kind of uh, operation and you can now focus more on the road. And as a passenger, it's really comfortable and there are lots of charging ports you guys. Lots of charging USB ports. USB-C charging ports. So if you're particular with like your um, tech, you'd be glad to know that there's USB-C and USB-A present both in the T-Cross. And you can even check some status of your vehicle all in the head unit. It delivers what you need for an enjoyable drive out of town with family or friends since it's also spacious back there you can fit like two to three more people there comfortably or maybe two at the most comfortably three might be like squeezing in too much but depends on where you're going but anyway i would say that vika might agree with me on this that the colors available for the t-cross are just very youthful very vibrant and Others are just funky, simply funky, which is great if you're into that. We have this T-Cross right now in Tribu color. Basically, it's the color of my shirt. And you also have the, I just forgot what it, what they call it, but it's Romance purple. Romance red. Yeah, there's Romance red, you sure? Yeah, Romance red. And the purple one. Right. But that color plus the dashboard that, you know, continues the color of the exterior, it goes also inside and it's very nice because it has this matte finish which I am personally a fan of. And that's about it for our unique drive with the Volkswagen T-Cross. As always, visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.